The king of country music, George Strait, is mourning the loss of two very significant people within his life. Just yesterday, we learned that his longtime manager of 45 years and very good friend, Irv Woolsey, passed away tragically at the age of 80 years old. According to Music Row, Woolsey passed at his home in Clearwater, Florida, due to complications from a surgery. And as of today, just hours ago, George Strait revealed that his longtime band member, longtime friend, Gene Elders, his fiddle player, tragically passed away yesterday as well, shortly after the announcement of Irv Woolsey's passing. Two incredible and outstanding men, absolutely devastating. These men played such a major role in George Strait's career, in his personal life, and we're talking about a culmination of 85 years with George Strait between the two. And following the passing of Irv and Gene, George Strait took to social media where he left behind beautiful tributes for each of these men who meant everything to him. First, following the passing of Woolsey, you can see that George shared a photo of him and Irv together, clearly sharing a very special moment with each other. Along with the photo, George writes, my manager for around 45 years years and most importantly my friend for even longer. Irv Woolsey passed away this morning. He had complications from a surgery and just couldn't overcome it. He was a very tough man and fought hard, but sadly it was just too much. We will miss him so very much and will never forget all the time we had together. Won't ever be the same without him. Before we move on to the tribute left by George for Gene, I want to take a moment to point out just how prominent of a figure Irv was in not only the entertainment industry, country music industry, but without Irv, there is no George Strait. Woolsey's career clearly spanned over decades. A record promoter in the Houston area and the Nashville area for DECA, ABC, and MCA Records, Early on in his career, he even helped bring a significant push to the careers of Johnny Rodriguez, Jimmy Buffett, Billy Crash Craddock, Donna Fargo, Freddie Fender, and the Amazing Rhythm Aces. And of course, we know George Strait was reluctant on really getting into Nashville, the Nashville scene, making that strong push to country music. Irv was the, the backbone to that and getting George his push and continuously pushing him throughout his career, even getting him into movies. And really, if there is one thing that I think was the best trait of Irv Woolsey was that he allowed George Strait to be true to himself. He thought that was very important for George, for not anyone in the industry to attempt to change him. He really focused on George Strait being George Strait. And uh, I got to say, and I think we can all agree, that was the best that was the best option. And again, we have Irv to thank for that. But George Strait, again, was not the only artist who he worked alongside. Barbara Mandrell, Don Williams, Loretta Lynn, Tanya Tucker, Conway Twitty, and the Oak Ridge Boys. You got Clay Walker, Leanne Womack, Dirks Bentley, Ronnie Millsap. And even towards the latter end of his career, he worked with a lot of new talent, such as Ian Munsick, Davison Brothers Band, Kylie Frey, Tristan Merez, Nick Davison, Zach Neal, Stone Sennett, and Vince Herman. And even while he was balancing all of these newer artists and young talent late into his career, he still made an effort to help manage managers, younger executives, and younger agents. There was really nothing that Irv Woolsey could not do. He was very respected for everything that he did, no matter what that trade was or looked like within the entertainment and music industry. And if there's any stamp of approval that anyone could receive, it's the okay from George Strait. And he again is the reason for the King. The Country Music Hall of Fame also left a tribute to Irv. Uh, it's a very nice tribute, one that I wanted to share with you guys. Their caption reads, without the savvy and determination of Irv Woolsey, we may never have heard of George Strait. Irv heard Strait in a Texas bar in 1975 and was an immediate fan and proponent when others said the singer sounded too traditional. Later, as an MCA records exec, Irv pushed the label to sign Strait in 1981. And when execs urged Strait to change his image and his sound, 
Irv, as his manager, back Straight's resolve to stay true to himself. You know the rest. Straight became a superstar who filled stadiums, and together Straight and Irv helped lead country music back to its traditions. All of us owe Irv Woolsey an enormous debt of gratitude for leading with his convictions and always supporting artists and new talent. I love to see that. I love to hear it from the Country Music Hall of Fame who is giving Irv the recognition that he deserves and staying true to oneself or really having the backs of these younger artists as they come into the game, into the genre, and allowing them to be who they are. But having such a helping hand in the support aspect of it, I think it says so much, not only about how great of a professional he was, but just how amazing of a man he was as well. Now let's take a look at the second tribute left by George Strait for his longtime band member, fiddle player, Gene elders he he was in the band for 40 years he started in 1984 with the ace and the whole band a very sad day for george Strait and his campus as two of these men lost their lives Strait's tribute to gene reads hard to believe we lost two of our music family members on the same day our ace and the whole treasured band member gene elders passed away yesterday afternoon shortly after we lost irv all of our prayers go out to both families. Me and the band won't ever be the same without our brother Gene. We loved him so much. He writes, go play with Mike again. Gino will come join you guys later. And here is Gene Elder's website. The, the bio here really puts it in perspective just how much of a historic career he had, not really only with George Strait, but just in general. Again, you know, you can see here it reads, Gene Elders had played fiddle and mandolin in George Strait's Ace in the Hole Band since 1984 while also playing fiddle in Lyle Lovett's large band for 11 years. The next paragraph down, it mentions that Gene has also played in recordings by George Strait, Lyle Lovett, Joan Baez, Lucinda Williams, Dan Fogelberg. Without question, there is a massive hole left in the country music community today with the passing of Irv Woolsey and Gene Elders, who clearly, as we have discussed, led incredible professional lives and were two men who were highly respected personally as well, and are two men who will forever be remembered for their contributions in country music. Our hearts and prayers, we are sending them out to the families of both men, Irv and Gene. We are also sending out our thoughts and prayers to their friends, George Strait's Camp George Strait at this very, very difficult time. As always, guys, thanks for tuning in here at CountryCast. That's your latest update.